Tony, I'm deep in the Malaysian airline duck. Mm. Yeah. I'm going to start that today. I'm in the middle of the last episode. Oh, okay. No spoilers. I'm no, no, no. I mean, I think we, the there are no spoilers. We no, know what happened. Uh, there's spoilers. There's spoilers <laughs> in the fact of like the theories and the people involved and all the chess pieces Those on the board. That's not a spoiler. Spoilers. Those are just Those details. Those are on the internet like yeah. right now. I know, but I've been actively avoiding them. So that way I can see the, sh the what happened chronologically just, and then make my own assessments about all it. All you got to do is say you're not willing to do the work of Googling it. And therefore, you're going to let Netflix present it to you. That's all you got yeah. to say. Somebody yeah. needs to write saying, a, I don't want it to be spoiled. Somebody needs to write a book for the etiquette of spoiling. <laughs> Yeah. Ooh, I, I like agree. that. I agree. Wait, yeah. you guys yes. remember when that um, New York Magazine like rules of etiquette thing came out that we were texting each other? Oh, about? yeah, that was great. That, yeah. First of all, that came out like five minutes after we finished a mystery crate, and that would have been great mystery <laughs> yeah. crate I don't fodder. That. I think I still okay, have so some screenshots of some of the there stuff. There was this thing that, like, I think it was New York Magazine. They wrote like a hundred rules of etiquette, and it was people on Twitter were like tweeting about it and stuff. Yeah. And some of them were really stupid, and some of them were like kind of funny. And people were just like roasting them. And it would have been great mystery crate fodder, but of course, it got published like right after this, we finished an episode. <laughs> this is yes. one of them. If you bring if up astrology up <laughs> and it isn't meant enthusiastically, change the topic. Not everyone <laughs> believes in your made-up star bullshit. Yeah. See, that was a funny one. That was a good one, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, the the spoiler etiquette. I think there there might have been one about spoilers in there, wasn't there? Uh, probably. There was like four hundred of them. There was so, a lot. Yeah. Was, yeah. <laughs> but like, that would have. I I would definitely read that book, Chris Cody. What's the I one I had? Thoughts. I had one earlier this week where I said something and everyone looked at me. It, oh, it was the Chris Rock thing. It, it was the oh. I like gave his punchline one of the punchlines and Juju was like, Oh my God, why'd you? And it's just like, look, man, I don't well, know. That's Meech, not a spoiler. Meech yeah. had said it. And then you just talked about like, Oh, that's the actual punchline well, no, Meech without was like, Meech knowing that he didn't right. watch the doc, but said the same thing. Meech was like, the one thing I know is I always knew not to fight around, not to fight around white people. And it was like, that's exactly, I mean, once again, spoiler alert for the Chris wow. Rock thing. But I haven't that's, seen it yet. Huh. Chris Cody, I was it's meh. Of, You're not missing much. It's my ultimate, it's his ultimate punchline. That's like what yeah. he, I, and he drops the mic on that line. And Meech just happened to be like, I know this rule. <laughs> <It was> just, <laughs> <laughs> I was doing the drive to survive, like top five. And you yelled spoiler during that, which was obviously a joke. <laughs> right. And, and I yeah. feel like kind of what Tony's doing right now, because <laughs> drive to survive is based off of a thing that already happened. And so is the Malaysian air flight yeah. Netflix documentary. Right. Yeah, yeah, but there's not, there's not in with virgin eyes. That's my point. Like but, I want to go in just a totally oblivious but, and but I want to you already present... know what happened. I know, but I don't know what really happened. I don't know what really Neither happened. Neither do the people <laughs> that made the documentary. Yeah, That's exactly. The they still part, don't know. That's exactly. They found the plane. Part. They don't know oh, yeah. what happened. There's a million theories. The whole thing is presented as hypothesis. The whole thing. So it, it doesn't. I want to go in there's... with absolutely virgin eyes to see all the but hypotheses. But it's not. But it's not because you know what happened. You know the story. Know you may not know the point. exact details of every point. single minute, but, but it's that's not. That's the point. That's the point. I know what happened. They took off and I know what happened. They crashed. Nobody can find them. Or all did the they stuff crash? In the middle, or did or, they right. crash? Or did they? <laughs> exactly. I'm sure there's so a whole episode want... about aliens, right? Mm, they're, they're, men they're mentioned. They're there mentioned. are? Oh, there's perfect. not There's not a whole episode, but they're mentioned. Yeah. Perfect. So in that <laughs> middle part between. Honorable mention to aliens. Honorable mention to aliens. One they, time disappear, aliens. They, they take Salute off and they disappear. I want to find out the middle stuff. I want to go in totally clean and see what. But it's not theory. totally clean. I. But it is. But it's not. But, but it is. How are you going to tell me what I know? Because <laughs> I know I what know you shit. know. I don't know shit. Oh, wait. That's today you don't know shit? Today you don't know shit? Because every other day. 370 airline? Yeah, I, I remember watching it when it happened. And it's been out of my mind for the last 10 years. Okay. Now I'm like, all right, I'm back, baby. And like, I'm I want to see what's going on. I'm, yeah. back. I'm back. So I don't know shit about shit. Okay. And I want to know all the shit that there is to know. I want to know. I feel, like, okay. I feel like the last like two or three months, everybody's always arguing with Tony. Tony, why are people what's going on? The like, what's going on? Oh, I don't know, dude. I'm just living my life, trying to be totally normal, totally positive. And it's like, no, you don't know this. Okay, all right, Google it. Oh, it's right. Oh shit. Okay, cool. It's the way Tony presents things certain times yes, that you're like, 100%. hold on, you're 100%. the way. And it's not to say that he does he's wrong or he's lying or any of that. It's just that the way he presents so things. So it's the Cuban confident. He's it's like the Cuban yeah. bravado. The Cuban so bravado comes out. Innately like says it. this guy's wrong. 
It's just, it's the way you present it that it. I'm like, no, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta when check any, this really quick. anyone is confident about anything, I have Correct. to, I have to argue with them, Tony. It's not yeah, you, man. it's That's me. That's fine. And People even like, if, I'm, even point, if I pick it's a everybody. losing side, yeah. because yeah. I feel like you're yeah. just too confident about something, I don't care. Yeah, the right. way people, like, the way you come yeah. off, it's like, I have to challenge this man. Oh, we God. have to. <laughs> yeah, you have to. No matter what it is, you must be challenged. That's fine. Speaking of challenging Tony, Billy's here. I have no issue. Billy's here. Billy totally started this, by the way. What is Tony, start? Perfect Tony's ultimate foil has arrived. We're talking about just Tony the last I'm few not months. I'm Tony's foil. Tony's nothing to me. Every Billy, <laughs> oh. we're, we're just, I, I noticed that the last few months, it seems like everybody is seems to be arguing with Tony, and it, and you seem to be the starting point on this. People are saying that's no. not true. People that's are saying true. that because they don't want to take accountability. Tony is a ridiculous person, and people <laughs> just are starting to realize it, oh, yeah, which is fine. Nice. That's what it is. So, Are so you now not? They're starting, now they're starting to realize I'm a ridiculous person and then want to fight me about it. <laughs> Who wants to fight you? Everybody. We don't want to fight have you. you online? We are we're fighting you. <laughs> okay, yeah, we we're are. currently yes. fighting you right now. Yeah, we're, we're fighting you. Want to, but we are doing it right Billy, now. The, Billy, the it's genesis fun. of this conversation is this. There, have you been on Netflix recently or no? Genesis. I yeah, have, but okay. probably not to see whatever you're going to talk about. Well, no, maybe you've seen it on like, you know how they, they advertise in life on the, on the platform, whatever. Have you seen the documentary or maybe the trailer for the the plane that flew and disappeared, the MH370 Malaysian flight? Yes. Okay. What I was telling these fine folks here was <laughs> I know the start point. They took off. I know the end point. They're disappeared. We don't know what happened to them. The stuff in the middle, to okay. me, I haven't been exhaustively researching every single theory. So I want to go into the doc with a clean slate. So they're talking about how you know exactly what happened. And I'm like, no, the point no, is I don't know. we're talking about how we can't spoil it for you. That's right. what we're yeah, talking about. I, I don't want to know any theories. Spoiler, spoiler alert. alert. I, I which... don't want to know any theories. I want to be going into it completely clean, Billy. So that's but where that's we are right not... now. And then everybody's arguing with me yeah, that I know what happened. In when I'm Tony's telling them defense, I don't know you guys are all read up on it. Tony happens to not know all the details. So he's going to be learning through this doc. Like, I, I kind of see where he's where The he's bad going. example, though, because this documentary – there is no, there's no resolution at it's the end. Just, we well, we still don't know what happened. That's that's the totally thing. fine. That's for so me to imagine. So there's nothing to spoil. <laughs> there's nothing to spoil about this story. Okay. <laughs> Tony wants his own theater of the mind. He wants to I think do, about I what's fine. Suspend, I think that's I want fine. To suspend disbelief for for just a moment of my life. Suspend what, disbelief. What's the time frame on stuff like that though? Like no one is allowed to talk about anything that you have no information on not, forever. Like that's how that's long can people not, not talk about? What's the time? About you guys talk yeah. about shit that I have no information on every single day. Yeah, F1, but, hockey, baseball. No, but, I don't no know that's shit. different. That's different. Yeah. I don't that's different. Know shit. That's different. Yeah, that's not even the same. That's not the same. It's not the same, sir. And I'm like, oh, cool. People know shit about shit. What's what's the worst thing Tony? What's the worst thing Tony could have said there? And he said it. Like I don't know anything about these sports. I'm like on this sports podcast. Yeah. We're not supposed to say what happened oh, in like Mike. a hockey game because oh, it's Mike, a spoiler. Talk to me to about F one, Mike. Talk to me about hockey, Mike. Listen, talk I can tell you. Talk to me about college football, Mike. Oh, you named all the things I might be able to talk about. You say college basketball, I'm totally in the weeds. I have no idea. Okay, well, college basketball, are. Mike. Tell me. Yeah, exactly. We all are exactly. Talk to me. Okay. Exactly. Everybody yeah. has weaknesses. Yeah. That's, but that's not what I'm talking right. about. <laughs> That wasn't the point. The point What's wasn't the that point? you don't know about certain things. The point was, like, and it's not you specific. It's What's, just in, in general now. You yeah, can't yeah. talk about any shows until everybody's seen them. But, like, where's that's the not, cutoff? That's, not that's why we're writing that's the book. That's everybody thing. That's yeah, what I'm, I'm gonna, saying. I'm, I'm saying it's all about you. Why yeah, is it 24 off? hours? <laughs> Why are you so defensive all the because, time? Because there's six people in the Zoom and five of them are attacking me. <laughs> no, one's, no, attacking no one's attacking you. No one's attacking you. This isn't okay. about you. This is no, a larger sure. conversation the about The first spoilers. thing we haven't disagreed on with Tony, by the way, in this whole episode. I just defended you. Yeah, he did. Four people. My bad. Chris. You changed <laughs> something in that room. Something's different. It's a lot. The light is on. Another light. There's another no, light. but like the there's the something month. off to this side. Oh, the I, I put on uh, I put on uh, shelves that do like a little shelving unit here. He no, zoomed in, so we're not looking at his thighs. So you that's look good. like you're on a booster seat or something on that chair. Like you're the chair. You're taller in that chair, no, but you also I'm, I'm aren't showing like up. your your thighs today. Look the the. This yeah, is like me... the bottom of the chair. Right? We can't see, so we don't. Well, I know, I'm pointing at it, but it's shallow um, enough where you can what's see. What's to your right? What is that, like, bucket hat or something? Is that a DraftKings logo? To my right. No, not that. In front of that. Uh, the, white, the, white, the white. The white. Oh, the white. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a bucket hat. What is it on? It's on a, uh, 
it's on um uh what's this thing called uh, a bag a luggage bag when we came back from salt lake i have i've already put all my stuff away but the luggage bag is here i got to take it back to my in-laws so it's here like on the side of my thing so it's here in your shot see now i don't yeah. like what's happening tony's being over analyzed let's just get back no to i'm at content. I'm, we're just we're just surveying here go i got you hold up hold up i had nothing to do with it for the we're just surveying a, go. i can't it's ask a question without tony feeling attacked I even, when I, I even when i wasn't talking about him even when i wasn't talking that time i felt attacked on his behalf i was like i was just asking i pushed the luggage bag our luggage out for a few months after we go on a trip yeah yeah yeah, very true the thing is, it's I, I live in an apartment, shocker, and real estate <laughs> Why is in Miami. that shocking? Re- like real estate in Miami, people. nobody can afford I mean... to buy anything. Um, th- I mean, Here the, the, I am from the my def- suburban mansion. <laughs> right? yeah, the defensive coordinator for the Dolphins says geez about the real estate market, even though he's made $40 million in his life. Okay, Dude, You so- got to move to Davey. Look how high my ceiling is. <laughs> <laughs> I admire that. Shout Look out, Davey. how high my ceiling is. <laughs> I my my ceiling house is like so small. I have a high ceiling, but that's all I like. I can touch every wall in my house. <laughs> I, I was going to say, I was going to say, Chris, I live in Davey. My ceilings are not high, but I told right. Lewis and Tony, like, just because in the like Westchester area, everything was built in the 50s. I'm like, I've never seen a house here that I can't touch the ceiling with ceiling, my hand so standing true. and hop up and like touch it with my elbow. Like every, my- everything's super low. My grandparents yeah. used to live in a house with six foot ceilings. And luckily my family, oh, wow. like what? my grandparents How? are like oh. super Italian. So they were like four foot nine. So it was like humongous for them. But like when I was 12, I could touch the ceiling in their house. No, it can't be Holy six cow. feet. It has I to be like eight feet. It might have been seven, but it was like in, insanely low. The yeah. doorways would like, you'd graze your head on them. It was oh, the tiniest shit. house in Pittsburgh and like, it was, we used to call it like their Hobbit house because it was on the side of the hill and it was just. I was gonna, I, 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 the Hobbit joke was brewing and then you just cut yeah, it off. So. Yeah. They My friends is, I have a question for you. Do you have your own podcast or you were a guest on someone else's podcast recently? No. Uh, so that thing, I'm not going to say the name of it, but it's a. Why? Music, wow. Be, because it's on a different network and I don't want to give it that much promo. So it's like, a, no, it's, it's, it's a I podcast. Hope they, I hope they don't listen to this. Yeah, they but don't. it's your shit, bro. <laughs> Are yeah, you yeah, on but... it? Are you on it? Like, no, yeah. no spoilers. No spoilers. Okay, so don't tell the... us what it was. <laughs> <laughs> no, the really quick rundown is uh, a guy I used to work with at BN, he now has a podcast network. He has a podcast that goes through the Rolling Stones 500 greatest albums of all time. Um, and we do like an after show to that. Me and another guy I used to work with together. Oh, my God. I'm an idiot. I think for, you're a second safe. There, for a second there, I thought the Rolling Stones Me had... too. 500 no. albums. No, I was like, no, nah, no. I'm good. No. Only Stone Magazine. No. I'm like, I'm good. <laughs> I think you're safe. I don't think we do a music podcast. Like, I don't think anyone will. Yeah. Well, Not I mean, it's a, the thing is, it's only available if you're a Patreon of that podcast. So it's like, um, also, check out the Greg Cody show, which is not part of the Levitard and Friends. I was just trying to be nice and have <laughs> you like plug your thing. You're like, I don't want no, to. No, okay, you fine, can honestly whatever. plug it, Mike. It's fine. no, no, it's it's fine. No, because it's it's you're not able to get it unless you're a Patreon of that podcast. So I don't what want to be like, be a Whoa, of that podcast. Oh, go right. subscribe to Mike's mysterious podcast. Go check <laughs> if out you could find it. If yeah. you could find honestly, it, honestly, building it. Go to his Twitter. I honestly yeah. think more people are interested to go find it now than they would have been. So this is a heady play by you. Exactly. Yeah. Keep the mysterious like like the like the plane. You know. Not everybody wants well, to go see it. Uh, Mystery. Don't want to spoil it for Tony. So, I'll so show uh, Chris Cody, what are your rule? What are your rules for etiquette for spoiling things? What would you put in this book if you wrote a book? This is the <clears> definitive <throat> guide to spoilers and not spoiling things for your friends. Well, I think there's different rules for movies. There's different rules for TV shows. Like, I feel like there should be different chapters of this. Um, as far okay. as like TV shows, I feel like you got to give people a month. What do you think? A month. Per a episode? month? Is this a TV show that's airing on network TV, or is this something that airs on Netflix that you know I'm is not going like to be streaming? No one talks about it a month from now. Streaming wars, like in the well, streaming hold, world. Yeah, but you're just saying words. Does that like is it <laughs> is it like something that's released <laughs> weekly or something that's released yeah. all at the same let's time? Use t- let's use Tiger Correct. King as an example. Yeah. 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 When can yeah. you yeah. spoil Tiger-, Tiger King? Let's go back to March well, 2020. The thing about Tiger King was we were all in the pandemic, so you might have had an expectation to watch it faster. So five minutes for Tiger. <laughs> Correct, because you, you weren't doing anything. What else were you doing? You were doing nothing. So Making you had to watch. Like, if an entire yeah. series comes out <laughs> on March 1st. Crying in the corner. If an, entire, panic attacks. <laughs> if an entire series comes out on March 1st, on April 1st, you can, there's no, like, I can just talk about it. Okay. Whereas if it's an episode, let's say that one episode comes out March 1st, the next one comes out March 7th. You can talk about that episode a month later. Like you can talk about you a to, month, a month episode. per episode. Right. Like, but can you talk right. about it if you say spoiler warning before the month? I think I think you're always safe 
if you're on a pu- if you're on a platform and you give mm-hmm. a spoiler alert, you're just always clear. You have I to like, give a countdown, I, a little I five second, this, a little think. five yeah. second countdown. Okay, spoiler that's alert. the thing. The month, the month four, time period yeah. is only if you're not giving a warning. If you're just like, oh my god, it was crazy at the end of Tiger yeah. King when he went to jail. Right. And I can just start bringing warn, up something. Yeah, because people people will go people will go spoiler alert, and then like a quarter of a second later, they're giving away the plot. You got to like give it a five count. There you go. I like that. Can people, uh, ooh, what if we do like a spoiler countdown instead of a spoiler alert? So like you count down from five so people know I have five seconds to go away. I have a question. Can people be more honest moving forward on what they're not going to watch? Because I don't think Tony's going to watch the Malaysian flight movie video watching, thing or whatever. I'm watching I feel like it's it. so The moment up I hang alley. up here with yeah. the Zoom call, I'm going to watch it. I like that. I don't believe like, that. I'm watching. I started watching it already. It's in my I've head. already seen the first episode. He saw the first episode. Yeah, I'm yeah, not watching. I read a 10,000 word article in the Atlantic about oh, it. I'm I could watch not... the series faster. I, yeah. Yeah. Exactly, Billy. Oh, Thank you. Super long. And it was also Thank very, you. this whole thing is mired in controversy, by it the is. way. Well, we yeah. Talked about yesterday. I'm cool with that. I have no problem with controversy. I'm kind of done with the story. I I feel like I know as much as there is to know, and I don't wish to think about it anymore because it is also a thing that gives me panic attacks. So I'm just done. I'm done with all of that. I feel terrible for the victims. I would hate to have a Netflix series made about like this. Only like nine years later. Like I feel like we should have waited like five more years, but Netflix comes in. I'm actually surprised they didn't do it sooner. Now that I think about Mm -hmm. it, because this is like ripe for Netflix. Did Did you watch the Murdoch trial thing? No, but that's another like. But that that, but that one came out so soon. Uh, That one came out. That was fast. It came out way too early because the guy the 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 jury could have watched it. Yeah, no, the guy. Yeah, yeah, like they just still on trial. They just found him guilty. So there's so many facts missing from the documentary. So I'm watching and I'm like, this exactly. is feels inco- it inco- That's feels incomplete. That's exactly what I was thinking about. Yeah. Like, it's too yeah. soon. Like we need right. to let things breathe for a little bit. But unless a play is like, stock. if you make part two of the doc and it comes out six months from now, then I guess it's a heady play because you get like two one. forms of contact. Con- of content. I mean, it's yeah. like the staircase. Like they filmed like the, yeah, the do you guys ever watch the staircase? Yeah, that was like one it. of the no. original true crime things yeah, on Netflix. I saw, Netflix. Mm-hmm. So I, I saw like, the I saw the live reenactment one too. That was on HBO, yeah, right? Yeah, the one yeah. on HBO. Yeah. I started it, and then I was like, I've seen so much of this guy, like Michael Peterson. Like, I <laughs> that guy like... sucks. That guy oh. sucks. Spoiler warning? No, okay. No, no we all know Spo- that guy. Spoiler sucks. warning. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, whoa. it's a warning to the Spoiler alert. Spoiler warning? I don't know. When, that came out last spring, so I guess it's past the thirty days, so we're good. What do you guys think is is? Sorry. No, go ahead. No, it's just, I, it was unrelated. I thought you were done because I was looking at something. I was just going to say they filmed the original documentary with him as he was on trial like 20 years ago and then refilmed like six more episodes, put them on Netflix as he was appealing the the verdict, I think. And so they got like they like double dipped in the content pool with that one. Like they they did it at the time and then it got re re popular again like 10 years later. And that then they did like a dramatized series on HBO. So there's like so much stuff. Out I there feel like in order that. for a, a documentary to be good, somebody has to be unhappy that it's being made. Yes. You know what I mean, like, yes. like, good point. like those good are point. the good ones, like the mm-hmm. ones That's where it's like everybody's in on it. True. This is my story I'm telling. It's oh, yeah. like, OK, I'm just getting this version that this person wants to be told. I want the docs. Correct. That's like this person's suing this person because they're making it and we're getting the real stuff. Like, Hell yeah. And I always yeah. feel bad because Jess brought because <laughs> Jess brought up like Vic. There's usually victims. So it's like the docs that I really like to watch are the ones that are usually hurting somebody. There's victims. everywhere. <laughs> Every well, not, documentary maybe not has a victim, victims, but maybe the right did the crime like or, or just somebody like there's usually somebody, somebody needs to get does hurt. It, doesn't yes. right. that's what I mean for the good ones. Somebody for doesn't want joy, this. For someone needs to be hurt. Right. For any documentary, there needs to be a victim. Right. We somebody can't have, somebody can't needs have to be vic- pissed. Somebody needs to be calling their lawyer when they that's read, why, when they watch that's this. That's why the Chris. Showtime HBO series was so good because everyone knew Jerry West was pissed about it, right? Yes. Yeah. Like everybody, it, yeah. it made everybody me like pissed. that show better because yeah. they were all so mad about their portrayals on Jerry it. And I thought pissed. it was really funny. Magic was pissed. I'm sure Kareem was pissed. Everybody's I mean, pissed. Though. I mean, they made magic look really bad in that. Yeah. Cody, this is like a top three take of yours all time. I got to say. Thank you. Well, this is a really take? good take. Thank you. What was that the take? So, someone needs to be upset if a documentary is being made yeah, for, yeah. for it to be good. And it's so true. Like I watched yeah. the shock, the Shaq documentary and I'm like, this is just, you know, glorifying Shaq for X, Y, Z episodes. Like the Jordan one, the Jordan yeah. one was like, it's, it's, it's kind of nostalgia, but like, but that's why we liked it. You're not nostalgia. really like Scotty Pippen pissed about it though. That's I the, yeah. yeah. That's true. That's true. Back on. That's why I liked it. <laughs> it's back on. <laughs> back on. <laughs> also, unspoilable, because that was during COVID, and everyone yeah. was watching it live on Sunday night. So it was like the next yeah. morning. And there's the also nothing really had, to spoil. Man. But 
Well, we had Tiger King. Spoiler Let's alert. relax. He won we had Tiger King for five NBA minutes. I know. See, Tiger King, they dropped the ball on that because that should have been when they started the weekly release plan because we would have been like all about that yeah, week but after nobody week. Knew. Nobody That's knew. Did you guys watch, did you guys watch Love is Blind like the first season during COVID? When yeah, Jenny did. It was yes. okay because yes. I think that came out. I think that came out weekly and i remember like yeah we were so bored like me and my boyfriend and his family we we guessed like which couples would say i do and like wagered money on it Ooh. we were like this is th there's nothing else to do right now so we, we're we betting were on which couples we, are gonna get married we were all gambling on wild <laughs> things during the pandemic i was betting daddy on, was betting on the ponies australian ponies at like <laughs> 2 a.m i think i think they were doing like four episodes at a time or something which by the way is like good because then you can like space it out throughout yeah. the week yeah. right it's like half yeah. a season i think they did like half a season then half a season that was also when when I got into the challenge for the first time, Billy. Oh, I love That's it. The season that was in like <laughs> it was in like the Czech Republic or something. Yeah, that was that was the challenge podcast season that we did. That, that was, was that crazy, was a good season. Yeah, yeah. ESPN's crazy. number one challenge podcast. That's right. <laughs> it still is, by the way, and undefeated. <laughs> I wonder if I could just go back and like if I find someone that can just upload things like just keep doing ESPN's number one podcast without anybody knowing <laughs> and just keep putting it like on ESPN's like server you know what I mean and just have it go out should, like who, why not? who should, should I talk to like Stanzig like hey Dan can you just like <laughs> upload Tarina. these things what? wild idea for you buddy what what's wrong what would be wrong There's with that nothing wrong with that. no no like that's what tired. that's that's what you tell him like wild idea like oh yeah yeah start well, doing ooh. this yeah Hmm. I think I think he just. By the way, shout out to him. I think he just had another kid, Dan Stanzik. So, um, what if maybe Spoiler. he just sends me his login and like I'm assuming he's probably on paternity and that Disney paternity is good paternity. Let me tell you, nine you weeks. Know, right? No, wow. I don't know. I yeah. I don't know because I got fucked and I got my job <laughs> taken away from me, and then I got six. Whoa. I lost six weeks of paternity as a result. Sorry. I, didn't, I had my kid during that. I, did I just not take the time I was? They allowed? they changed it. They changed it. No <laughs> lie, like right after you and Roy had your yeah. kids, like the next year they changed it. So like, Sorry, Chris. you guys hey. got I think like Bump. three weeks, and then Mike got nine weeks, and then I was Daddy was looking at some nine weeks of paternity. And then daddy was looking at unemployment and Cobra. And then we had to <laughs> figure out like Page up the game. Yeah. Cobra yeah. is expensive. Metal Arc's pretty progressive. I mean, I feel like you're, you could have got some time out of this company. Don't we have unlimited? Three weeks. I don't know what our family leave. Paternity's three is. weeks. Oh. Here it's three weeks. <laughs> I don't I don't think it's three weeks. <laughs> no, it's hundred percent three weeks. I got a call oh, really? when they were I was the first one to have a kid and like that, I, I'll probably get in trouble for saying this. I I I was having really, a kid. So how about, how about vividly, we don't? I vividly remember this, by the way, because you were the guest booker, and then I had to guest book for like two weeks, and then you were back all of a sudden. Well, I mean, that was a whole nother thing, right? Because, like, they were trying to figure out the plan because I was gonna have a kid, so there was no plan. Um, but we don't need to get into it. But yeah, so like, I had the kid, and then I. I technically was like off, but we had the 24 hour marathon. So every day I was in meetings anyways. And then I'm oh, like, shit, okay, that's right. Like I'm now going to take a week off and then I'll save paternity for like later. So I took like a week off after that. And then I don't know if I ever use the last week, which it doesn't really matter because we have unlimited paternities or, or unlimited you could just vacation. Take your three, <laughs> you could just take yeah. your three weeks of paternity and then take a three week vacation. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. Now you know for the uh, next one. Ah, uh, freedom. Wasn't what were you talking your, about? Wasn't your baby born on like June 1st and we had a 24 hour show on like June 4th? She was born May 27th and we, and yeah, it was, it was like a couple days later you and we had like a 24 freedom, hour right? marathon. What? You were there for freedom. Like you came. Yeah, I had to go. Yeah. It wasn't really optional. I was like, okay. <laughs> it was all hands on deck, I, I feel like. Yeah. That was when Tony made his, uh, Triumphant Ric Flair return. <sighs> yeah. Billy, what are you doing? Where's Jer Bear today? Jeremy has like 17 jobs, so let's just let him He's have it. He's busy. Nah, that's but true, that's true. also the perfect know. cover, right? Because you could always just say I'm doing something for my other, other job. job. And yeah. like, oh, I got to leave. I got to go do this today. And it's like, mm, do you need to go to, you know, <laughs> shoot around today? Like, no one's checking the heat schedule. I went I went to a heat game the other day. No, you wasn't. Know. Which one? The Heat versus the Cavs. I was there. Just totally uh, so wiping so like out two Jeremy days ago. Yeah. Uh yeah, like two like two nights ago. Yeah. I saw him being not from like 
up close because I was in the first row of the 400 level. I saw him walking like on the floor in a, a DraftKings hoodie. <laughs> in trafficking city yeah i'm yeah. just saying i was at a heat game so if i talk about the heat moving forward you guys know that i've been there and i'm an expert on the team now basically got okay you. got it i, I was invited by my brother-in-law yeah i have an update on a topic we talked about last week on mystery crate if you guys want to hear it um we were talking about that one tweet that went super viral with the different types of pens that yeah. got like fifty thousand quote tweets and we were trying to think of like, what's our version of that where we can make the Levitard account go viral and have people quote tweet like their favorite thing? We couldn't think of anything. And then after we were done recording, I thought about something we had talked about like a few weeks ago, which is every few years, like a new water bottle goes in yeah. style. Like mm -hmm. Billy just had one. What, what, what kind of water bottle was that, Billy? This? Oh, it's just a Yeti cup. No, that one's on That's there. That one's on there, so I made I made this little graphic with nine options of different oh. water bottles. Oh, wow! And then we should Jude tweet it out and see if we can game the system here. Yeah, that's a good one. I'm clearly hmm. a three. I know that people listening can't see, but when you see it, what I'm was just three? Three, three, three. The three is the three. Stanley Cup. That uh, is the current. Mm, cup that thing will of stay cold. Year. That thing will stay cold for a month. Yeah, hmm. that's a good. Uh, that's the good like beach alcohol cup. Yeah, the, I'm a Yeti. I'm up. a Yeti man. Yeah. Yeah. That's like Number the. One. Yeah, the basic I'm a number one. Right now. You don't like a straw, huh? You don't like a straw, Tony? Nah, nope. Straws I like the I like the thing that you okay. can move the magnetic. Yeah, the, you can move the, back and the, forth. The slider. straws make the you stopper, burp. Huh? Yeah. Do we know it's the straw that's doing it? Do we know? I it? think it is. Okay. I think mm -hmm. it is. I, I is feel it? like that. I feel like that. Like little straw gets really dirty and full of bacteria after a while. You it's clean like, it. Yeah, I know, yeah, but like, who, who the fuck does that? Like, you know, like well, people that clean things. I guess. Right. Yeah, but I'm not looking to clean a straw. Or replace. I feel like that thing I never clean gets dirty. Cleaning straws is weird. You like put a little soap at the top end, a little soap at the bottom end, and then you just let water Let the water run through it. I don't have a little like utensil thing that like really gets in there. Should I get everybody pipe cleaners? Like, what are we doing here? Yeah, apparently. Yeah. How much could these possibly be on Amazon? Let me get like a six pack and everybody on Monday will have some. I'll look, right. I'll look it up for you. Five right. below. I look at it. Dude, five, five below. Maybe it's a scam. Get me five below. Nothing's five below. Nothing's five and up. If it's five and up now. No, don't get me. It's so it, cheap. Five every, and up. No, oh my god. Dude, they... It's gone up. Guys, I have one. Oh, okay. Wow. okay. So you can my use it. My wife must clean her straw. I just like always. I'm like, Dan. I just do it the you know little soap on the top, little soap on the bottom, water through it. That's how we clean the straws. I got. I got to say, water. Guess what? My straws always are fine. Bit yeah. of a conspiracy how close you had that mm. the topic at hand. I feel like there was some collusion. That was really here. fast. My kitchen. Yeah. Like, I, I'm telling you, my house, I can touch <laughs> every wall. <laughs> I can my touch every wall. Right here. <laughs> Front doors right here. Upstairs right there. And we're that's it. That's the house. Huh. <laughs> Speaking that, of washing. House. Yeah, yeah, yes. send it. Send it. Chris Cody said something yesterday on his way out that I was just like, hmm. hmm. And it's this been a topic on the Oh, this was off air. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh, <laughs> it's it's not it's it's not is this our uh, first wheel of wheel of topic oh wait our... uh, hold on cynthia okay you hold the phone don't hold reveal it. something here this is something i'm working on for other things i don't <laughs> want to talk about my loofah habits oh. right now <laughs> oh you already knew yeah <laughs> you already knew. I, I can give away one sentence i can give away one sentence okay it's part of something i'm working on you know the next ventures of chris cody in this world tony kind of knows what i'm talking about here oh yeah Jessica does too. It, it's stand up. I want to do stand up potentially. Oh, oh I heard you. you. <laughs> no, I heard. Spoiler alert! I heard you, you and Chris have been this. talking about this for a while. Me and Chris no. want to do a stand up. Like we should do like a Levitard stand up comedy routine where we have different people that want to do stand up. I know. Jess, you got I know. a type five. I love you got it. A type five. I could Chris. probably, I could probably write something, but it wouldn't be funny. Chris, I know a guy. <laughs> it would just be. Ah, nothing's, nothing's. Yeah, I'll talk <laughs> to you anyway. It doesn't matter. No, no, it's I know, even I know better. Guy. So like I have my top one, five earlier this week, just me. I have one bit that great. includes uh, like my like, oh, loofah perfect. situation, like how I deal with my loofahs in the shower. And the line that she's talking about is that I say, you know, once a, a loofah touches my asshole once time, I never look at it the same. <laughs> so that that was one. But the other one where I was just like, hmm. OK, go ahead. You can just say it. Right. Well, it was like, more. It was so quickly on that. <laughs> well, I mean, I, like, first of all, I'm editing this, so if it's something really out of line ah, out there, I'll, I'll my guy. It, it, it's it. It was really just an off comment to what you were talking about, where you were just like, "I don't wash my legs. Oh, I just well, that, let the yeah. soap drip down." Oh, he, and I yeah, was like, that one. 
That's an old yeah. take. That I've said that on the show before where I don't I, want to wash my shins. I scrub I'm like, my mm. thighs. I scrub my thighs. I don't have to bend all the way down. The soap runs down. I don't have dirty shins. You guys want to see my shins? Like they get the, no. it gets the job done. It gets the job done. Does it though? Yeah. Pro- probably not. I've heard that take. Yeah, okay. I heard that take. Heard that I'm take. just curious. All right. That's a simple one. But the loofah one was top tier. So, I mean, yeah. it's. You're right. I, mean, I get it's, it. It just you never look at it the same. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> don't reveal too much of the bit though. I know. Yeah, I mean, it got yeah. a good reaction. Don't Jess laughed. Like, I feel good about it now. Like, that was. <laughs> I just, I, because I'm picturing you staring at the loofah and the loofah staring back. And yeah. You're just like, mm. yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm not mad. Same. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. That's what. Right. That's what you exactly. tell the loofah. Yeah. But why would you tell the loofah that? The loofah should be telling you that. Oh, that's true. I just th- we have right. a cartoon series in the works here. There you go. To go yeah. bit. I don't want to. I don't want to go into the. Don't whole do thing. it. No. It. Billy, what inanimate object do you talk to? Yeah, you. <laughs> Billy, we lost your audio. <laughs> he's thinking. I'm I think he's to, thinking. I'm... He's thinking. No, no, he lost. Oh, his no, audio. no, no, we lost his audio. Yeah. Oh, I hit mute on my microphone. Uh, what did go. you say? I said, "What inanimate object do you talk to, Chris?" Yeah, but what does that mean? The shower. What does that mean? I talk to every inanimate object in my house. Yeah. Like what what non sentient being item in your household do you talk to the most? Um <laughs> the robot do vacuum. Your, do you talk to your refrigerator? Do you talk to your microwave? Like your computer, Aria? your mic, a light, yeah. the when door. you bump it to the table, do you say excuse me? <laughs> my bad. I I need to hey, think about it. I don't, I don't think that I talked to that many I talk to talk myself, machine, but I don't talk think I talked to that many objects yeah. do you guys talk to yourself oven. in your car like if you're in your car alone like are you actually saying things oh. out loud to yourself oh yeah all the time yeah. yep i think i'm just thinking it i don't think i actually say it well i'm also like say it out loud but yeah. sometimes i will walk around and say things to myself especially like this is embarrassing but like if i'm doing a, a podcast and i'm like trying to remember certain things i'll be like in the SEC tournament this weekend, LSU uh, lost to right. Tennessee in the semifinal. Like, I'll start telling myself things that I'm going to say, and then yeah. I just am, like, rehearsing it to myself. Well, that's just rehearsing. That's not that's not talking to yourself. That's preparing for your job. That's, you know, it's normal. Yeah, but I'll just walk around my block, like, talking to myself. Oh, but. And I'll, I'll, have, I'll usually have an earbud in, so people think yeah. I'm Yeah, you're Everybody, safe. Uh, yeah. 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 You're not actually listening to anything. Yeah. Do any of Correct. us, do you guys ever do the thing where you're, like, staring in front of your mirror and, like, affirmations? Like, like. Yes. Like of course. Like okay. What are your What are your affirmations? Quintus? Like, what do you tell yourselves? Yeah, you don't Chris, suck. That's directed at you, by the way. Me? Yeah. You I, I didn't oh, say just... I, I asked if I don't do it. Oh, I, mean, oh. I literally was just like, do you guys does actually? Does anyone here do it's... it? Mike Fuentes oh, says he does. Yeah. Oh, I mean, oh, it, it, I it depends. You're saying, Chris. It depends on what I'm doing. If I'm doing something that needs a little pep talk, I give myself one. Mike you know? Fuentes is like, you know everything. Yeah, you well, smart son of a bitch. You're no, only enough, Chris. You're smart enough, and you've God seen every it. movie. What is it? Before, you before I went, fucking before, fire shoes on. Yeah, before I went to yeah. uh, the the studio for the first time, I gave myself a pep talk. What'd you do? What'd you, what'd say? you say? Don't let oh. Dan Levitard bully you today. No, it was <laughs> well because I have like I massive, like talking to himself. Yeah, no, it's like uh, I have massive imposter syndrome, and um, no matter how good I am at something, I always feel like I'm not good enough at it. So like mm-hmm. I had to talk myself into being like, you can do this job. You know, and, and then you, you can... and then you met all of us, and you were like, "Oh God!" Like, oh yeah, that, that is, <laughs> what yeah, was I, I worried about? Yeah, this fucking bullshit. So, like, what are you good at? Uh, apparently, apparently, I'm good at cutting vertical videos, so everybody can make money off their Instagram. I'm good <laughs> well, at that. didn't you? Whoa, whoa, I, I don't. Whoa, I, I've not whoa, gotten a penny. Uh, I've not whoa. gotten a penny off wow. of Instagram. You gotta sign up, Billy. Tony, yeah. got I did me it one ending, time. They're ending it. They're ending the the real boost thing i never what? did it either because i didn't want to give facebook my social security number but oh, they're ending the like you the most you can make yeah. i think in a month is like 1200 1200 bucks right yeah. you guys yeah. made 1200 no, 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 no hell no make like oh. 2 of that that's Basically, the most Billy, they yeah. get you'll get to a hundred dollars like really quick if you put up two reels and then yeah. the rest of the month it'll climb four dollars it's like yeah. it, you'll get to a hundred dollars mm-hmm. quick and then you'll get you'll your next thing will crush in views and you'll go up seven dollars so like it gets oh. you to a hundred kind of quick but yeah. but it's also a three hundred dollars like no i know that's why yeah. that's why that's and why the thing is it. and the thing is like you guys are making content already so like it takes me 15 minutes to make it for you and then i just yeah. send it and yeah. and then you guys link it to the account everybody does their job and really, it's i got win-win. you I'll, I'll hook you up on monday well i mean it sounds like i don't need to do it because i'm not going to get anything nah yeah. don't worry about that Take advantage before they take it away. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, I, I was saw, watching. 
Go ahead, Mike. No, no, no. I saw something uh, on Twitter that like uh, Belgium Parliament is like forbidding their people from using TikTok now. So I, I wonder if that's, that's like a problem. That's like a security thing, like a yeah. bunch of people with like state, uh, state phones and like I don't know, governments issued devices aren't allowed to download it now. I've I've seen that people are doing that in the U.S. too. If you have like Gary V says it's phone. okay. <laughs> if you're not on TikTok, your parents are scared of TikTok. <laughs> He had good energy in person. Dude, that, can we talk about that we for a second? That we never really talked about it. About him and Ron Riggle hijacking yes. the desk? Rob. Yeah. Rob. Was was fine. Rob. Ah, Rob. 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 Who gives a shit? The guy from The Hangover. Whatever. The people. The Hangover. The Hangover. Yeah, he's in The Hangover. He is in The Hangover, but that's not what I think. He's in everything. Yeah. He's like a, he is in everything. Yeah. He is in everything. Yeah. yeah. Good for him. Um. For the people that don't know, they're watching our Super Bowl coverage on Friday, the last day. We had like a train of guests. We talked to everybody, bam, 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 bam. All of a sudden, we had Gary Vee, who I think was our last guest of the day, right? Yeah, my man. Billy, you were there. Was there anybody else after that? I can tell you what happened. I was there if you wanted no, no, to hear no, what I, happened. I'm, I'm or you could tell us what happened. No, I was going to give it to you, but I was just saying. No, we need the secondhand the account. What was don't your story? Spoil. What What don't do you spoil. think happened? Well, it, no, no, go ahead. Don't tell spoil. Story. Tell the story. <laughs> don't spoil it for anyone. Don't spoil it. I think we're good now. We're clear. It's been a month. <laughs> has it wow it's been it really actually has it has, has. yeah just yeah. about yeah. yeah so you're good tony go ahead yeah go no, no, tony no, Billy, tell Billy, everybody please, please. Spoil it. nobody, nobody wants a second hand what, what's go happening ahead. right now it's not I that crazy know. of a story just don't we all do know this for 20 minutes well i don't know <laughs> what were you what were you gonna say happens what happened yeah i mean billy isn't what happened is what happened what happened it was crazy we had him on an interview in the middle of the interview he called rob riggle over they started talking and we all just like and they did a sports show for 20 minutes okay this is this is what was the greatest thing of all time yeah went to go eat yeah what what happened was we that day actually we had a bunch of people back to back to back as tony set up right boom yeah but um instead of four mics this was our last day we only had three mics set up that day and Stugatz took one of the mics to walk around and do that thing that he does where he interviews people on Radio Row, which ended up just being like a social video thing, right? So we're a mic down. We had Gary V scheduled to be the last guest on Levitard, and then we had Rob Riggle scheduled to be the first guest post-live show that we were going to put on God Bless Football. Rob showed up like 15 minutes early and was just standing there off camera and then they were just like waving at each other, talking to each other. So I don't know if it was me or someone, Dan, whoever said like, oh, like, why don't you have them join? So he came over to join, but we were down a microphone because Stu Gatz took our extra microphone and he wasn't participating in the interview. So the only way that they could talk, I just I got up, gave him my headset and gave him the microphone because there was no extra microphone that day because we were already starting to pack up and get out of there because we had flights like right after. Um, so there's only two headsets and two microphones that could be used during that time of the show uh, since Stugatz took the extra one. So I got up and just left. And then I went and I told Stugatz, like, you got to come back because we need to do these interviews. And the two of them were just talking to each other. And I left and came back and they were still talking to each other for like 10 minutes. And then I saw that everybody left when I came back and I'm like, oh, sh like, crap. How long is this going to go? Because like there's nobody directing this in miami I, like what was Chris he was saying eating or something what was his reaction gary v to, at the end um like was like he like they, what the like, fuck what did happened? he say like so afterwards did he the, get they, the bit did he realize okay they're doing a thing where they evacuate like did he like or was he just like this is weird and confused i think they enjoyed talking to each other like they liked it they probably thought that it was really strange that we just let the two of them talk to each other like oh we're hosting now and then they were just talking because we just had a, a laptop is how you could see and it was like on a zoom so they're talking to each other and i guess at some point they saw like nobody's there <laughs> and just kept talking to each other and then eventually they ended it right and i'm like stu God, it's like you got to come back um, and then Rob Riggle was there and his people were there and it was his time to do God bless football. So like, I thought, okay, we're good. Like we did Rob Riggle, but they just stayed like standing there. <laughs> and then I was like, Hey, thanks. That was fun. Whatever. And they're like, yeah, but now's his time to talk about his thing or whatever. I'm like, okay. So then I had to go <laughs> to run to the other side of 
of Radio Row in the convention center because Stugatz is running around trying to talk to like he, he keeps calling himself the Godfather of Radio Row that day for whatever reason. He was reason. trying to I find mean, the fake Andy Reid, wasn't and he? He, he had already found him. He was standing and talking to, like to someone who was at the NBC set when Chris Sims fell, and then he finally talked to Chris Sims, and I'm like, Stugatz, you're gonna talk to him later. Like we need to go. Rob Riggle is waiting for you to do this. You should have never left to begin yeah. with. <laughs> God. You shouldn't have taken the microphone. You got to come because we Who have these interviews him? scheduled now. Juju or like Danny? Uh, Danny. Juju. No, Juju was oh, with him. Juju. Danny stayed behind because he was with like the camera. I can't fathom at a place like Radio Row where there's like okay. so many people. It was that. so much terror. I think he's like a child. I, he's like, oh, look, mm-hmm. I, look. I think I only Ooh. Cynthia. <laughs> I think only Cynthia will get this and maybe Chris and maybe Tony. So like. He finishes with Chris Sims. Rob Riggle is there waiting. He showed up 15 minutes early. He did an interview, is waiting to now do his interview about golf clubs or golf balls or whatever it was. He did a show right? with Gary Vee. He did an entire sports entire show, show with Gary He did a, a solid like, 10, 12 minutes with Gary Vee and is now waiting to do what he was supposed to do. Um, and I go and I grab Stugatz. He finishes talking to Chris Sims. I'm like, okay, you got to go. Like, they're waiting. Now we're late, and they're waiting for us, even though they were 15 minutes early. And he's like, hold on. I got to go talk to Andy King. And then he goes over, and he starts talking <laughs> oh to Oh, my Andy God. In the corner for, like, his interview thing that he's running around grabbing people. And then finally I get him. He talks to Riggle for, like, he talks to Riggle for, like, 10 minutes. Riggle's sitting in the middle. Stugatz is on the side. Um, and I don't, I don't want this to sound like I'm being critical of rob riggle in any way right like i don't want this to come off like that but very nice guy but no 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 no. like very <laughs> nice guy um but, of all the interviews that but... we did that day where there was the guest was in the middle and we were talking back and forth it's the guest that like acknowledged me the absolute least like i think i even asked him, like it, he was just like this talking to Stu gods and i'm back here and i just have like his back so like i think i asked like one question and he may have gone like this and then just went back wow. to Stu Gatz, but don't fall it was really funny he dismissively for those listening over his shoulder billy looked Whoa. over his shoulder to a fully back given billy gill no <laughs> really i funny. absolutely would have lost it there was yeah. someone i'm not gonna say who it was there was someone at radio row who was super rude to me that like I know yeah. and this it was year? like what does yes, it rhyme it with? Was, I'm, I'm not saying who it is. I don't, you guys don't know who they are, but is a media was, person? I'm not saying who it is. Oh, a, a player. Either way, Anyways, fuck them. It was yeah. so rude. I was like, oh, uh, I was like, uh, oh, okay, and I was just like, went home like stunned later. Wow. You think it was intentional? Wow. Do you think it was intentional? And I think they were just like thinking about something else and just like didn't have a human interaction. No. You know what I mean? When you're talking yeah. to someone and they're just like they see past you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like Rob yeah. Riggle and Billy. Like you're not yeah, important. Exactly. You're not like <laughs> you're not it's like, oh that person's not yeah. important. I'm not yeah. talking oh, to them. Oh, you're not it's important like, to me. Oh, okay. Right. At this at this second, you're not important. This is important. But that was really rude of Rob because No, like... it wasn't. Uh, it's it's not that's what I'm saying. I don't mean for it to be that way. I, he might I have just, just thought mm-hmm. you were a producer. That's yeah, the thing. Exactly. You, okay. like, I wasn't a human. You thing. went to go get no, Stugatz. You're still so Stugatz. But you're still a person. But you're a person. No, it's like he doesn't. He obviously doesn't know the show. So he rents no. goes get Stugatz and oh, He's that like, guy's here's the guy. Host. No, not no. Know the show. Yeah. And there's a guy with a microphone sitting next to you. No. And you turn your back. To yes, like but don't. On, like, but like, that's a little humanity. weird. No. In Rob's no. defense, on Radio Row, generally there's like yeah. one host and then there's like a technical person. So like, yeah. And and Billy had gone to get Stu, so Stu's obviously Rob, the important I think person. I, all like in Tahoe, Rob's been there. He he seems like a genuinely like he. Oh, seem they like, talked a lot about that. Stugatz and him were making plans. Stugatz yeah. Stugatz promised. Um, oh my god! This didn't air. That. Stugatz promised <laughs> Ryan Leaf that he would get him into the Lake Tahoe tournament this year. God, we barely get Sir. it. Out of boy Stu, we Sir. barely get to go there. And he's, Billy, I this love is what I'm Stugatz saying. I'm gonna call Nick right now. I'm gonna get you in, buddy. I, Don't worry. I could not. I could not do what you do. Shout out to Stugatz. Nick Casanova, by the way. Stugatz also yeah. promised me heat tickets yesterday, and I was like, I was like, I was yeah, asking, the, I was asking the room about like, hey, yeah. who do you guys get heat tickets from? Like, yeah. not for free. Like, who can right. I buy them from? Buy them yeah. From. And Stugatz answered, and I was like, anyone but I've Stugatz, because I, I know there won't be a follow up. I here. saw yeah. that interaction, and I was just like, not getting tickets. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> who did they play yesterday or, or when do you want to oh, go play tonight they, they play the, the Cavs. Game. Uh, oh that's, that's like the, the toughest... game i went to last year i know it's yeah. a tough ticket. the toughest ticket yeah. I'll, i'm gonna i'll pay face value i just don't want to pay like over yeah. face value obviously i'm trying didn't to they just play the knicks yeah yes. they, they, 
they're doing a lot of like back to back home and homes with yeah, teams. I like saw, I saw the Cavs, the Hawks, yeah. the Sixers. Is Jalen mm. Brunson's injury mm. serious? I saw he got hurt last night. I know this is random to bring up on Mystery Crate, but did anyone see that? I saw Jalen Brunson went out. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, welcome, to, welcome to mystery great oh. hey. Hey. We're, we're seven thousand minutes in. we're Thank about you. done anyone got anything to promote go around the room mike really? has a podcast but he can't talk about yeah, it Patreon. right yeah. well, it's, it's not really, that i can't it's really I a post don't... game show yeah it's a post game okay the name of the podcast is the 500 with josh adam myers who's a big comedian Shh. whisper it whisper it whisper sleep it, it. Sleep it out who's, who's the guy i know who's the guy i know chris is gonna get you into the comedy oh, so okay wow so, so you yeah. just know a guy that's just gonna get me into comedy. Oh yeah, you're basically so famous like, already. Like it's like that's it's a it. room. Like he's yeah. like, come on in. You're gonna but end how... up for those random Welcome to comedy. Welcome to comedy. Welcome I asked you this question, but my microphone was muted. What is your guys' plan for this? Like the t- like you and Tony want to do stand up, so you want to make a show stand up. Oh, no, no, no. spe- like I, you're gonna I, rent out Miami Improv for a night. I and was sell saying. Tickets? I told Tony a few weeks back that I am just you know as like you know as we try to evolve in our careers, like it's like a a, a path that I see that. I might want to it's try. It's a little branch. It's a little and, branch. Yeah. And Tony was like, "Yo, we if you do like, we should do something where it's, you know, come see Mike, Jessica, Billy, Tony, and Chris. No, no, not Billy. Or whatever. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, <laughs> like honestly, in we'll to- get Billy in on Zoom. In Tony's defense, the Howard Stern Show does this type of stuff where all their producers like do little things where it's like come and then they sell little rooms and then we each have like a set and yeah, I mean, it's obviously we're a far way out from that because like I need to try doing comedy first, but. I just think like it. I don't think he's crazy. Like down the road, we could do something like that. I see it. I can see it yeah. happening. I, I mean, and I think Billy should come and just like not want to be there. Like that would be your character of like just like why are you guys here? This isn't funny. Like why'd you and guys think, pay for? I this? think Dan should spend like the entire next day on the show like breaking down <laughs> our comedy routines. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I can't the believe you missed the Super Bowl. That was crazy. Well, uh, yeah. I still can't believe that either. He has to have seen it's it and not thought it was no, good, right? I don't know. Wait, the Chris what? Rock thing that Dan didn't still oh, hasn't seen the Chris Rock thing. I wasn't, oh, I wasn't you, weren't you weren't so there. So Monday yeah. we were like Monday was like the Super day. Super Bowl Monday. We, yeah, for like, Dan. Where we had multiple people, we had multiple people talking about like the Chris Rock thing, like before in the pre-show meeting. Um, and they're like, oh yeah, like I watch it because like Dan's gonna want to talk about it a lot, right? Mm-hmm. So then the show <laughs> is going on, and it was like brought up kind of like in passing, and people were kind of going back and forth, like, oh, I saw things on this, I saw it on social, I saw it on Instagram, I saw the whole thing, I didn't think it was good, I didn't think it was right. And then like we finally like are going around the room with people like just kind of talking about it a little bit, and and we go, Dan, what'd you think? And he goes, I didn't see it. And we're like, wait, <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> You didn't see that it. That is yeah. comedy. Like yeah. you didn't see it. He's like, no, I fell asleep. I you didn't asleep. see it. Yeah. it okay. And we're like, gummy, well, said. well, when do you when <laughs> like it's on Netflix? Are you gonna, are you gonna see it tonight? He's like, I don't know. So then the next day or like two days later, we're like, so have you seen Chris Rock yet? He's like, no. And we're like, are you like are you are you planning on seeing? It? Are you gonna see it? Like what happened? And That's he's like, hilarious. I don't know. That is the best bit he's ever done. I only knew that there was a Chris Rock uh, special because of Dan. Someone, someone tweeted it at me and was like. Oh, Dan's going to want to talk about this. And I was I, like, talk about yeah. what? And then I looked it up and I was like, oh, okay. I, I saw so many tweets of like, oh, God, here's three straight hours of Dan talking about this. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, props to it. Dan. Yeah. That, that's a great bit. I hope he saw it and he's just like playing along with the bit. All right. Anyone got anything to promote or I'm going to say, okay. Goodbye. I have five podcasts to promote. All right, go ahead. I have a question Off the looking before, glass. Oh, before ahead, we promote. Sorry. Okay. No, it's fine. I was handed this. It's supposed to be a child's book. And it's called Try Hard, and it's a like supposed to be a Die Hard children's book oh, featuring Jesus. a dog. Dog. Yeah. This seems like uh-huh. something that I should not read a child. A Die Hard children's book. Well, it's because... not Die Hard. It's Try Hard. Yeah, it's with John with John McDane. You yeah, think John Die McDane. Hard suit like tried to sue them? You think like we got any legal? Someone sent here? these books to. You should have gotten one of these, Chris. Someone sent like a series of children's books based on action movies with animals in them to the studio for us to read to our kids. And Mike gave me the Die Hard one. And I don't think I can read this to my child for Have a very you long time. Have you he gave you that because he took the good ones, the other good ones. Did you see the books? There was like I four did. or five books. Yeah, they yeah. were really cute. I really, I wanted to take one, but I knew they were really, for me. Have you read so. it yourself? I have not yet, okay, no. how about you read it and then you figure out if it's good or bad. I right, know you make the judgment. 
It's not for a child. I know that already. But, just but by looking at the, it. I, I've, I've skimmed through the imagery. These are not images for children. Like there's not curse words. In read it. a page. Read one page. Yeah, Let's read see. That allowed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why not? Oh, this is good in case there's any uh, voice talent agents out there. We talked about that last week or, or any before. kids listening. You Start know, selling audio. Nice. Here's a nice little yeah. story for you. Well, I hope there's no kids. A mystery crate of all, yeah. all ah. of the things. Agreed. Biggest podcast on the network. We like to have fun. It's Metal Arc's biggest mystery crate podcast. It, it is well. It's also I think it's I think it's a on YouTube at least. It's the second biggest one, like compared to Dude. you after the after main show. Yeah, I think Can you tell me that like months. I like don't I specifically don't put on makeup for these because I didn't think you put them on. Dude, that's why it does so well because we get the all we get yeah. the, the natural. It's look. the raw uncut. It's always it's always going now. It's always we going. somehow yeah. we somehow also mystery crate went from the person the podcast with the most people on it to the podcast with the least people on it in our network. That's a astute crazy. observation, Billy. Yeah. Bill. It's weird. Hmm. Yeah. Why, oh, why did I come to this place? My plan was never to get into a chase. My paws are in pain from each Lego shard. You can't give up now, John. You've got to try hard. Oh, shit. Did I read, like, the last page? It seems like I got towards the end of this book. Spoiler alert. It, yeah, looks, like the, it looks like instead John of, like, actual, like, glass. Dog? How long's the Yeah, no, he's a dog. Yeah, he's, he's a dog. dog. His, name, his, name is John, his name's John McDane. Has the book yeah, been out a month? He's a dame. Has it been dame. out a month? Yeah. Has Got that it. thing been out a month? I need to know, or else we're spoiling this. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Spoiling it. Or else we need a countdown. Yeah. I don't see like a copyright date on this, so I don't know how long Ooh, it's been so out. It's not even copywritten. Mm. Oh wait, twenty twenty one. We're good. Oh, okay. okay, we're fine. Anyway, yeah. thank you, Billy. All right. Do Jessica, we have to do Big Suey off still? Looking glass. That's that's probably something we don't have to talk about in Mystery Great. <laughs> um, <laughs> go ahead, Jessica. Off the Looking Glass with Kate Fagan. We had on Adia Barnes this week and a story about Karen Logan, who invented the women's Wilson basketball, and then Wilson stole her idea and gave her no money for it. Boo. And we have on Golik and Smeddy, me and Mike, uh, our first episode back, we took a little two-week hiatus, um, talked about The Last of Us and NFL season and everything going on in, in football right now. And then on DNF, Spencer and I are also back for the first Formula One race of the season. You work yeah. a lot, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yesterday, Dan's like, "Hey, Jess, do you have anything you want to talk about on the show today?" And I was like, "Nope, I'm done for the yeah. week. <laughs> I have no more ideas. Yeah. I'm, I'm tired out. of talking. Yeah. <laughs> I have nothing to say today. It's my 14th podcast this week. Cinephile. We're doing Creed three this week. Oscar preview. Um, I, I want to watch it this week, Chris. So I saw. I saw. I'll be ready if you want. To be if on you're the looking, you know, if you're gamble, if you're a gambler out there, Adnan is is historically great at picking winners for Oscars. So if you're looking for a little action on the Oscars, he gives you all the predictions. He tells you who will win, who he thinks should win. Full Oscars preview, cinephile. Yeah, I saw. I saw Creed three on Monday. It was good. Nice. I have an idea for a podcast. Go. It's just Tony and Mike Fuentes one upping each other. <laughs> on how much they like it's one person like to tossing out here. a topic you weren't there for the conversation that chris and i had he asked me if i had seen chris three so i or chris three creed chris. three so i could so i could help him out on cinephile yeah i'm telling him that i'm gonna see it now so if he needs help on cinephile yeah. i could be part of it now yeah that's fine mike your thoughts on creed three <laughs> uh i thought it was good Jonathan Majors is probably top one actor right now. I he would still say. like that was honestly top spoiler one. alert. Yeah. That was honestly Adnan's like to Mike Fuentes' yeah. credit here. Adnan's like big takeaway was how great that guy was. The, 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 the thing the thing about the movie is like I've always seen Michael Jor Michael Jordan Michael B Jordan as a uh, like mediocre actor. His worst mistake was casting Jonathan Jonathan Majors in this movie because Jonathan Majors blows him off the screen every single time. They're but on you together. could also I'm just gonna steal Adnan's Tony? thing here. You could call him like a gracious that. director Michael B Jordan yeah. because he. Like le he didn't say like this is my movie I'm gonna shine he like sure. he gives yeah. the the Billy, let's but, watch it but 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 you can tell who the real talent is when they're both mm -hmm. out there yeah. wow Come wow on. shots wow. fired yeah I mean, I mean I'll, I'll shoot him again he's just not as good as Jonathan Whoa. Majors he's just not whoa <laughs> just not I mean, he'll probably agree to be honest yeah. I don't think he would but okay we should get him on <laughs> follow try, try. right I'll send a request out should right have Rob now. Riggle interview him <laughs> that's true <laughs> <laughs> Tony Tony what are you promoting. <laughs> If, uh, if got... it was Michael B. Jordan and, and Majors, he'd just be looking at Michael B. Jordan and wouldn't pay attention. <laughs> uh, MMA Hangout, we've got another one coming up March 18th uh, for UFC 286. Uh, we've got GG's that we actually did last night on Thursday. Um, that's usually a Monday joint, but 
you know, we're still trying to figure our is, footing road to all 32. Is GG a consensus? Because in the poker world, GG is also a thing of like whenever like someone loses, GG. Yeah, 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 good game. I didn't, yeah. like, I didn't know that that was also like I learned from you that that's also a video game thing because that's yeah. big in the poker world, GG. I thought GG and... stood for Gabagool. Which mm. <laughs> Depending no, it's on like who a... you ask, maybe. It's what you say after you whoop someone's ass in Madden. Exactly. GG. Last game, by the way, yesterday, 30 to 6. Absolutely. How many teams have you, you you were trying to win a game with every team? We're, How many have you got? Yeah, we're we're I on the road to all thirty two. I haven't written I, down. Yeah, Mike has it written down. I think we're at eight or nine. Uh, nine, <laughs> nine, nine. nine. All thirty two. Yeah, can you read them nice. all? Nine. Uh, can you really read quick. Them all? Why? Lions, Ravens, Raiders, Vikings, Texans, Saints, Bucks, 49ers, Rams. No Dolphins no. yet. Jeez. Nah, no, how's it gotten no. the Dolphins? It's random. It's on the wheel. Yeah, yeah. we have a wheel. Hmm. Cynthia, you have a wheel. Hmm. Uh, no, I've got nothing. Okay. But what you all are promoting. <laughs> awesome. There you go. Okay, goodbye.